All right, we're coming to the last drop of uh, this seven drop load here. I'm gonna show you how I do a belly wrap real quick. We're gonna start by just uh, throwing your strap over the load, right dead center probably. You could do it on either end, just like you would normally. You go the other side like I've done here, and you run that strap underneath the product, okay? Now, I'm just gonna use my winch bar to push that strap to the other side. See what I'm doing here? See how I did that? Now I'm not gonna make it all the way to the other side with that. So here we are on the other side. Gonna be running back and forth. Gonna reach under there and grab that strap with the winch bar. Pull it across just like I've done here. Now we're back at the side where we originated from. And we're gonna throw that strap back over again. So we've double wrapped it. And what's happening here is it allows us to cinch this whole bunch, all these bundles into one single bundle. So now that we've gotten that, we're gonna put it in that winch right there. We're gonna tighten it up, cinch the fuck out of it. And that shit ain't going nowhere, buddy. I guarantee it. After we put the each uh, a strap on each end. Now, not only can you do this with you know, several bundles like I've got here. But a single bundle is good to belly wrap as well. Because, like, this here is the bundle they took off before I just did what I did. That will prevent that from shooting forward or backward. Say you got a four-wheeler that comes and brake checks you, you got to slam in your brakes. If you ain't got a belly wrap, it'll probably go forward. So... If you like this video, you like these little tips, or if you see something wrong, or you think you see something wrong, speak up in the comment section. Subscribe, do all that jazz that everybody else says. But uh, one thing I want to talk about is the definition of a belly wrap. Now, I've been to places where they'll say, throw a belly wrap around that. When, they're, when you get something that may be two, three, four tiers or something, uh, you know, the shipper will go out there say, or, the, or the loader will say, you know, throw a belly wrap around that one. You know what I'm talking about? And it's not a belly wrap. It's just throw a strap over that tier is what I, what I believe. That's something that I think has kind of gotten wrong. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me for... That to be called a belly wrap, and then someone to just to throw a strap over the first, second, or third tier, or all three of a load as a belly wrap. That's just securing that tier, throwing a strap over that tier. That ain't a belly wrap. What I just showed you is a belly wrap. And the reason I think that's important, or I know it to be important, is when you do things that are incorrect. And you get so many people that continue to do it over time, it gets out of control. So if you don't correct it, and, the, and one thing I was thinking about with this is, like social media, Facebook, you see a lot of people who will, it's like we've all become illiterate. Like when you see someone put could of or should of using the word could and then OF instead of the conjunction of could have and then the apostrophe VE. You know what I mean? And over time, you know, that's actually more people are less likely to correct that because if you do, you have an army of assholes coming at you calling you a grammar Nazi or something. It's the same thing with this. You don't correct it like, there's a lot of things in trucking in this industry that people do wrong or what was once considered wrong or rude or inconsiderate. And it happens all the time now because no one tells these guys it's wrong. Or like, it, you know, you have different uh, companies that have people with only six months of experience haven't even been through an entire year of seasons, haven't even done any winter driving, you know, haven't experienced anything teaching someone else 
how to how to be a professional, which is unreal. And you see it like people running down the center lane and unable to do the speed limit. And you can have your arguments all you want, all you want, but that's not right. Or you know, if you're at a fuel island and you're pulling out, and the guy next to you is pulling out, if you pull out first, you got the right of way because you're both going to be turning out like this. You know, simple little things that a lot of people don't follow anymore. And it's, that's how shit gets out of control. The guys who've been around a while haven't taught them, or you have an army of assholes who will tell that seasoned guy that he's wrong and then that that group of seasoned guys just say you know what fuck this new group <laughs> that's what happens and seen it they say fuck these new guys they think they know everything they do that and it and it 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 makes something that was once uh a nice, well-oiled, smoothly running machine and turns it into a big, giant clusterfuck. That's something I just wanted to throw out there. Something to think about, you know, when you see something wrong. Some people point out stuff in my videos that is wrong and but offer no, no evidence or anything. It's just something they've been told. Well, you, if, you, if you're going to correct someone, you better know what you're talking about. You better know. You better pull out that OY. If, you got to pull out that that reference that you've gotten this from and prove it. Everybody, that's another thing in like trucking is everybody thinks their truck is exactly the same. Their truck is the same. The trailer is the same. They don't think about wheelbase on the tractor. They don't think about the motor. They don't think about uh, split axle. They don't think about... Uh, you know, uh, the distance of where your tandems may be or the distance between your, your split axle on a trailer, a step deck, a RGN, a dry van, a, you know, there's so many things that, well, they don't consider the differences in each truck and they think they know everything or, you know, that's one of those things. Got to correct guys like that. And I'm one of them guys who's got to be... I'm no expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. Because I'm still learning every fucking day. And every one of us should be like that. We know we're still learning every every single day. There's something... It's like, you know... It's just like... Uh, a fella on here. Uh, Chucky F.U. Telling me, you know... Some of them straps look like they need to be retired. <laughs> From, uh, I think it was the last video. He's right. I did have one on there that was in, it's not in the greatest shape. I, I think it's still usable. It's about, to, it is about time for it to retire. But all the other ones are less than a year old. So, but anyway, he's right. I need to think about putting that one out to pasture. But anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, ding the bell, throw me some more ideas. You want to see? I'll try to grab. I'm gonna try and capture as much as I can while I'm out here. You know, I'm limited on time while I'm waiting here to unload that stuff I just showed you. Waiting to unload the rest of this, and then I'm going home. And I'm gonna work on my truck. I got some things that need to be fixed. And uh, I'm I, I'm just gonna get off here. Goodbye. <laughs>